Athletic. Look, I, I don't know you guys very well. I know he's athletic. I know he's stronger and faster and more explosive than most of the kids he wrestles, right? And some of you guys aren't. That's just reality. Some of you guys aren't. Some of you guys are typically not as strong, not as fast, not as explosive. And for you guys especially, slide by pull by stuff is great. And, and if the guy you're wrestling has just really got really, either really good baseline defense, like just every time you get to his legs, he's just heavy. Or maybe the guy's just really funky and leechy. Like every time you get to his legs, he drops to an ankle, he rolls through, he passes you, and then you're both hanging out on a foot for a stalemate, right? See, that'll happen 10 times in the match. Same kid will get to a leg and get stalemate over and over and over and over, right? All right, so let's just go a little pull by, slide by. The biggest mistake I see on this, and it's super simple to correct, he gets to your head, you should be looking for offense instantly. You gotta get him off your head. He's on my head. I gotta get him off my head. He's gonna swore there, and if he doesn't swore, he's gonna tire me out. So the first one, just any slide by pull by stuff. I'm not talking done, I'm talking just slide by pull by. The biggest thing is bring your hips to him and turn your feet. You see this all the time. He grabs my head right here, and I go slide him by, and I do this. And he falls down. In competition, you're never going to get that score. Competition is exactly what's going to happen. He's going to start well. Right? Pretty much. What you want to do is just take your hips right to his hips. I'm here. That. Okay? And all I'm doing is just turning my feet looking away. I'm turning my feet. I'm not taking a big step. Look, my toes face him. They face away. And my hips going right to him. Look at how my left hip is coming right here. That's super tight. He's getting choked out of the clock right? Yes? Yes. You want it from the inside power? You can do either one. If he's... It, it a lot depends on how. If he's got you kind of pulled in and there's not a lot of space, you're just going... You're just going forearm to his tricep, looking away. Not a lot of space for him. Trying to watch my feet turn. If there's space, though, where he's kind of here, now it's the same thing with my feet. I'm just coming over the top and grabbing his tricep. There. You with me on that? Yep. Just go one set of that. Anybody can get good with that. Look, he's really athletic. It's like, I can't get to his legs, I can't get to his legs. He's too strong, he's too fast, he's too low. But at some point in time, we're gonna end up here, and then we're gonna end up here. Like, I'm gonna have a much better shot of getting that on him than I am that. Gotta be good at everything, right? But for you guys that aren't that athletic, if you can just develop quick hits, you know, just being able to drag the guy past the leg instead of having to hit your knees and beat his hips. Now, I know he's really athletic, I can't get to his legs. If I do get to his legs, it's like a Mack truck, like I just can't move him. But just we're in here moving him, bam, right there. Just quick little hits like that. Quick little hits like that. Come out and grasp my wrist. Like that. Just developing little tricks like that where you can just get quick scores without having to go underneath guys. But for right now, just go one set, just a little slide by, pull by. And the most important thing, like I said, take your hips to him. If you're out here, if you're out here, you're drilling it, but in competition, you're not finishing it. He's just so low away. My hips going right to his hip. I'm just taking my hip right here. Really tight claws here. Really tight claws. I'm very much good. Go. 